How a snowmobile gets developed is usually pretty specific to its application, but in the case of the new XP lineup from Skidoo, the approach included both trail and mountain climbers in the same development process. The development of this new platform was a little bit different from the way we've done previous vehicles because we developed both the trail sled and the mountain sled at the same time. The idea was obviously lightweight, where it's beneficial to both the trail rider and to the mountain rider. And it only made sense that as we were building these vehicles along, there's some unique twists that each guy wants, but overall we're going to end up at pretty much the same point with both chassis. The difference will be in the lengths of the tracks, a few minor uh, details throughout the vehicle, but overall the idea was light, 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 and that makes sense for both people, so we developed it for a mountain and we developed the trail at the same time. We expect an extremely positive reaction in the mountain category. To deliver a snowmobile that weighs in at 429 pounds in the snowmobile market on a, a standard, out of the box, no extra cost, so you don't have to spend a big bottle of money to get lighter at 429 pounds, I think the mountain people are going to be very, very impressed with that. Uh, in the mountains, they'll typically spend $100 per pound to lose weight. So to deliver a snowmobile that's that light already gives them a heck of a good starting point to even take it further. Long or short track, Skidoo's approach is clear. Lighter is the direction of the future. Royal Distributing, Morcado and Polaris race team is in uh, Rouen, Quebec. We've decided to come here, you know, we got invited, they say there was lots of snow and to bring our uh, team here to do some riding and some racing. So we thought we'd take the opportunity to come the weekend prior to our first race uh, with the CSRA coming up in the soon next weekend. So we, I th we thought as a team it was a perfect opportunity to come here and do some, uh, some testing and racing. As a team, uh, basically, we just try to put the whole package together, kind of get used to everybody. We've got some new members on our team this year. We kind of want to get used to each other, how we work, and uh, how to tune the sleds, and then um, basically just try different setups for, uh, for next weekend. Well, this year, Polaris came out with a new race sled uh, called the IQ 600 Racer. It's a new engine uh, that was developed for Polaris. Now, of course, we've got some of these new 600s running uh, this weekend. And, and of course, being a new engine, sometimes there's little uh, issues we have to deal with. And I think we've done a great job this weekend. We've certainly proved it to, uh, to everyone out here. And uh, the sleds are actually pulling real, really good. And we look forward to uh, some good results coming up. Hello, I'm Craig Nicholson, the Intrepid Snowbiller and National Touring Editor for Snowgoer Canada Magazine. If you've done your homework, your vehicle, tires and sled securing system need or exceed the requirements for the weight you're going to be carrying. So you're ready to go, right? Not so fast. Is your trailer rated to carry the load? What about the trailer tires? Your vehicle tow package and hitch must also be rated to handle the full load of the trailer and all its contents, and positioned so that your trailer tows level. Your hitch ball must be strong enough for the load and properly sized to fit the trailer coupler. Before leaving, always ensure that the coupler is fully down over the ball and securely fastened. Then attach the safety chains. Check to ensure your bearings are greased and the tire pressure is up to specs. Then check that all your lights are working properly. With all systems ready, now you're good to go. For Snowbiller Television and Snowgoer Canada Magazine, I'm Craig Nicholson, the Intrepid Snowbiller.
STV is sponsored by Yamaha Four Stroke Snowmobiles. By Snowboard Canada Magazine, Canada's best snowmobiling. And by G Max Helmets, there's a G Max for everyone. Next week on Snowmobiler TV, we get an exclusive look into a private collection of sleds that'll blow you away. We showcase the new Ghost Snowmobiling Give It a Try Tour, and we do the roundy round at the Amsoil Eagle River World Championship Derby. Got comments or suggestions? Email us at info at snowmobilertv.com. STV's done. Thanks for your time. Now, go snowmobiling. <laughs>